Let's talk about backing up your website data. Backing up is something that you absolutely need to do these days. If something were to happen to your website and you'd put in 100 hours into creating this thing, if you didn't have a backup and it crashed, you would be very, very sorry. So one of the things that I want you to do is download a plugin called WordPress Database Backup. And that's by Austin Matsko. And in order to get started with that, you want to go to your tools menu and then you'll see a link called backup. Now this is a pretty easy plugin to use. Essentially what you've got is a list of things that will always be backed up. The ones with the check boxes allow you to do things like exclude spam comments and to exclude post revisions. I'm going to uncheck that one. And then on the right side here, we've got a couple of short codes and some of the things that I may or may not have put into this website. They're certainly not all in here. But if you know you've made a couple of these things and you want to keep all the data along with those short codes, you can go ahead and click those here. And then if we scroll down, we've got some backup options. Now, basically, what do we want to do with this? What do we want to do with the backup file? We can save it to our server and it'll create a little directory called backup for me. Right here it tells me where I need to go to find it. I can download it directly to my computer or I can email it to myself. And then here's the email address that it gets sent to. And then you can just click backup now and you're ready to go. And I'm going to go ahead and save this to the server. I'll click backup now. And as we're getting to the end of our backup here, I'm just going to talk about one more thing after our backup is complete. We can see that that's done. Down at the very bottom of this plugin, you can schedule a backup. And I highly recommend doing this as well because backing up is something that we always think we should do more often. Well, if it can be done automatically for you, why wouldn't you just do that? So you can schedule hourly. That would be a lot. Uh, twice daily, once daily, or once weekly. And I'm going to go ahead and choose once weekly. I think that's relatively safe to do. And then it'll just give you one option here. It'll email your backup to whatever email address you specified. So just go ahead and create an email folder for your backups and keep them in there. And then when you're done, you click schedule backup.